Hello everyone, I'm Wilson Anarimit. For the Python Mini project, I'll be sharing on the remote monitoring system testing for readiness to be deployed. Here is my presentation outline. First, the scenario or problem description. Second, is we will see the CSV file because we need to analyze and manipulate the data from this CSV file later using Python programming. Third, we, we will see the programming method I use and how to install the external modules. We will use the Python external modules in, in this programming. Next is flowchart programming. Basically, before we start to write the programming, we should have the flowchart for our reference during writing code and then we will see the python programming code after that the demonstration video of the output programming and finally is my acknowledgement so first we go to the scenario my supervisor asked me to analyze total of 3360 data points collected in the csv file and search for the coloration between battery voltage and the air temperature then create linear regression chart find the minimum maximum average mode for the battery and air temperature as well as standard deviation verify the minimum battery voltage where we can conclude the system is running well or not and see how much the air temperature affect the battery charging voltage This is the CSV file data retrieved from the data logger during the testing consists of date, time, battery volt, air temperature, and run amount. Here we are going to analyze the column number 3 and 4 which is battery voltage and air temperature. And this data is start from uh, February 9, 2021 until March 15, 2021 and the interval of this data is 15 minutes. Next is programming method. I will use programming IDLE integrated development and learning environment with the external Python modules such as Pandas used to read and write the CSV file, NumPy to convert CSV file into array, state modules used to create ordinary list square regression result, matplot library to create the 2D graph and plot using Python script, use scikit-learn module is provide machine learning and statistical modeling so we can use to import linear regression later and SkyPy module is used in mathematics scientific computing so we can search for the minimum maximum average mod and standard deviation and finally that module API mod API is to implement linear regression for the estimation of the statistical module. Before we use this module, we need to install the module at the cmd command. So here is we install the the module using pip install numpy, pip install pandas, pip install matplotlibrary pip install use skykit-learn, pip install skypy, and pip install stat module. After we install the, the, all the external module, then uh, we see the flowchart here. From the flowchart here, we see from the start, we acquire data from CSV file using data equal to pd, which is pandas, and we can in the CSV file path here. In the file name. Below here is when you, you key in the wrong path or wrong file name error will pop up says that file not found. So what we do is 
to check again the file again the correct path or correct file name if yes then print the data here next is convert the data into numpy data alloc, alloc is i is meaning is integer and log is location for this one x is the battery voltage the location is two here but in the csv file is column number three because the pattern read from zero one and two that's why we put here two and then value reset is negative one and one negative one here means we don't know the how many rows it is that's why we put if one and one here is the column so it's mean here we create array in one column but unknown rows later the program will read all the row, row for us same goes with the y here which is a add temperature then after we convert into numpy we can manipulate the data here. The first one is perform the linear regression result here and print and display the, uh, the chart. Second one is find the battery minimum, maximum, and average mode standard deviation as well as uh, temperature also and print and display the result. Here is to verify the minimum battery voltage so we can know the system is running well or not. If the battery voltage is greater than 12, and four this means the system is running well if less than 12 and 4 volt is the system is not running well and then lastly here we create the linear regression chart now we go to the Python programming before we start the Python programming here we need to import all the six modules here the pandas numpy Matplotlibrary, Scikit-learn, SkyPy, and State Model API. The first one we need to load and read the CSV file. Data equal to PD read CSV file. R here means to read the CSV file from this part. And this one is data dot CSV is the file name and print the data and this one i location is just now i explained at the flow chart the negative one means calculate dimension of row but have one column z equal to sm static state module sm is a state module here state module api constant uh, this one is to, to add the column of one the input if you want to state module to calculate intercept, intercept this one is for the OLS letter to create the summarized model and then obtain the variable result using fit and display the result table in result summary here bottom here is machine learning to find the means and standard deviation for the battery voltage and air temperature. And here is to print the result, print and display with the two decimal places here. Percent dot two F here means two decimal places. All the result here we print, print with the two decimal places. And then this code is to verify the system is running well with minimum battery voltage 12.4. If the battery is greater than 12.4, the remote monitoring system is running well. And if below than that, the remote monitoring system is not running well. 
and the uh, last code is to print and display linear regression plot chart this one lr is equal to linear regression that, that we import on the top just now create object for the class lr fit x and y perform the linear regression y prediction and linear regression predict is to make the prediction for the x and plot output result in graph plot title linear regression and plot scatter x and y and plot x y prediction color is yellow later we see the the output and then x label is for the x exists battery world and y label is y exists for a temperature and plt the show is to show the plot chart so now we're going to see the videos for the demonstration output the demonstration of the programming output before that i try to gain the wrong file name here what i do is i delete a here so the file name is wrong and then run it so we can see the error pop up later file found because the file name is wrong so we correct it now we put the data put csv this one is the correct file name and then we run again Great. this is the correct file name and what we can see here this is a uh, 3360 rows is that 300 and is that 3360 that are collected since from 10 of February until 15 of March and the time interval is 15 minutes and the data collected is battery voltage and temperature and then Below here is OLS regression result. OLS is stand for the ordinary least square. What we need here, there is a lot of information here, but we need the half square value, which is 0 0.7 for add. This value means that we can conclude the relationship between the battery air voltage and air temperature. Below here is the minimum battery voltage, which is 12.45 volt, and maximum is 14.61. Average voltage is 13.14, and then mode is 13.91. Standard deviation is 0 0.51. Minimum air temperature is 21.83 degrees Celsius. Maximum is 37.28. And the average of temperature is 29.39. And below, below here, it shows that the remote monitoring system is running well because of the minimum battery is 12.45. Because we set the, if the battery voltage is below than 12.40, this means is the system is not running well. Here is linear regression chart. This is a temperature, and then this one is battery voltage. It shows that the predictor explains about 75% of the variation in the correspond variables and so we can conclude the battery voltage as relationship with the air temperature i think that's all for the output for our, my programming thank you the demand
that's all for my presentation today and thank you for your attention and i want to show my heartfelt gratitude to my python programming tutor as well as course coordinator for providing me with the opportunity to complete on this fantastic project even though it's a mini project which will also help me to do my job more effectively in the future I learned a lot of new things about the pattern programming board and I appreciate your help and add M this skill to use in my current employment which is autonomous and robotic technology. Thank you.